Hello, my name is Andrew Peel, and welcome to the third development update video. This will be an update on the Quick Importer Library. I did a demonstration of this in a previous video where I dragged in non-native files into Blender's interface and it automatically imported the model and provided you a quick placement method. Now the idea with this is that this will work with any file type that can be imported into Blender. So FBX, 3DS, STL, images, all of those different files. And I just added support for DXF, along with the ability to quickly save this to your object library with a thumbnail preview that's automatically generated. So I feel like this will be very helpful for architects and others that need to work with CAD files. And so here to demonstrate this, I have a very simple floor plan that I created in Blender. And I'm going to go and open up the asset library. And while it is possible for you to add in high quality models into this, if you wanted to place different furniture, like I could just drag this in, place it here. And so now I have this file or this asset added to this design. But for architects, it's overkill to add these types of models to their 2D floor plans. They just need a very quick representation. And a lot of the times they have libraries of a bunch of different DXF files or CAD files that can be used. And so rather than finding different native Blender assets, we're going to use the Quick Importer library. Let me delete this real quick. And so let's go ahead and switch over to the Quick Importer library. And the idea is that you set the path to wherever you've downloaded all of your different external data. And so here I have a folder that I downloaded with a bunch of different DXF files. And so we'll go into architecture. And in this case, let's go to furniture and then for now bedroom. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set that as the active path. So that's gonna load in all the different files that can be imported into the viewer here. Now you'll notice that they don't have thumbnail previews. I'll show you how to generate those in a minute. But what you can do is just take this DXF file, drag it in, and you can see that it just Im imports that file into something that can be used by Blender. And so not only that, but we also have just some quick ways. So I can use my arrow keys to rotate this and determine the placement. And of course, we can just continue to drag in all sorts of different files. So this provides a very quick way to just lay this information out. So here we'll go and put in maybe a double bed over here. So you can see how this can really speed up your workflow when you're placing this information. And if this is a directory that I'm going to be using often, I can always save this active path. And so now I'll always have that bedroom category that I can access at any time. And I can always just keep adding more directories. So here, if we go to the living room category and set that. So now that loads in all of the living room DXF files. So here we can just drag this in, determine where we want these placed, and just continue to do the same. So so now here I can just save this as well. So now I've got my two categories saved. But let's say that we want to save this as native Blender files to, let's say, our object library. Here, let's go and set one more path. This time we'll go to the doors interior. So here's just a bunch of DXF for doors. We'll set that as the active path. And rather than just dragging these in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this button to just export this to a location. So here, I'm going to export this. We'll go to the object library. Turn off my filters. And here I'm just going to create a new category in my object library. We'll call this 2D arc. So now I'll just select that directory and click Set Active Path. And in the background, it went through. So here, if I refresh the object library, now I've got my new category, 2D architectural images. And these are all of the interior doors. And so this works in the same way, where I can just drag this into my file and use it. So hopefully, this gives you a good understanding of how using these types of asset libraries can really speed up your workflow. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to the channel for future updates, and I'll see you in the next one.